Hastings is the seaside town in East Sussex, which has always been a hot spot for home and foreign tourists. It was a small fishing town, ideal for smuggling due to its location. But it all came to an end in the 19th century and the town went on to become one of the most fashionable resort in Britain. The Hastings Pier, which was built in 1872, was one of the central attractions of the town. In 2006, the Hastings Council decided to close the pier on safety measures and there were many calls to salvage the pier. In October 2010, the pier suffered a devastating fire which left only the pillars and pavilion end standing. Hastings Borough Council has fought a long and hard battle for its decision to close the pier in 2006. Now it looks like the more than a million pound compensation money would be granted to Stylus Sports for its decision. Well, the Court of Appeal has found, unfortunately, against Hastings Borough Council in our appeal regarding Hastings Pier. We felt that the council had acted absolutely appropriately in 2006 after it received a report in closing the pier because the report indicated that the pier would not be safe for large gatherings of people and as there was a large event booked for that weekend the council had no choice but to act. The council closed the pier then three months later the, the magistrates court confirmed the action in other words endorsed what the council had done. A compulsory purchase order was issued in August 2013 after its owners failed to show up. The purchase order allowed local people to take ownership of the pier and the renovation project had since been going on in full speed. What is going on the pier is, is the pavilion we're sitting in becomes one large restaurant bar kiosk which we will run, the charity will run. Uh, then we have a visitor centre in the middle of the pier which will be an education and multifunction space with a bar in it as well and a kiosk and a shop. Again, we will run it all. So the charity will be running the, the two buildings that are on here initially. So we've been on site now for five, nearly five months. As you can see, we've replaced a lot of the steel and the decking that we've been working from the promenade and we've got to here. You can now see the new decking that's gone down. Our next attack is going to be up the main part of the pier. As you can see, we've started putting new new beams in but we've got a lot of steel work to replace up there uh, it'll take us another three three months to get to the end and then we can do the demolition but it started well um, hopefully the weather will stay good and we'll be able to get good progress we've replaced all the beams under here uh, and the trusses and all these beams here are now need to be replaced and we put new joists on top so we, we've started on this section as well very soon we'll be starting refurbishing of the old pavilion building, converting it into a restaurant. Columns are all good. We've replaced three three columns up at this section and we've got one more to do when we get up at the other section. But generally the columns are good, which is why uh, the pier is standing up. Oh. Good old cast iron columns put in by the Victorians 140 years ago and they've stood the test of time. So the columns are, are good. They need a bit of repairs to them, but generally the columns are OK. It's the steelwork on the top that we're having to replace. The job has gone very well. We've got a good team of uh, contractors and, uh, and carpenters and so on on the job. We're very pleased with progress. Um, and I think everybody else is. So, it's, yeah, it's looking good. We just want to keep going as we are. This is um, the hub, um, which is our temporary visitor space while the um, rebuilding restoration work is happening. And we're using this space um, to update people on what's happening, but also um, as a test bed for the events that we're going to be running, obviously on a much, much smaller scale. 
Um, so we're doing a lot of activities at the moment for families and um, in particular young children. We're running storytelling sessions, um, under five explorer sessions. We're also go going to be doing school groups. Um, so we, we're going to be doing things like chocolate welding, where a group comes in and they find out about welding and what it's like to be an engineer and the kind of things an engineer has to think about every couple of weeks, there'll be something new, which means that everyone, um, either if they're local or if they're coming from further afield, can come to the pier for something they love and they enjoy. Let us now hear what the people in Hastings say about the pier. I think it's really good actually. When it first burnt down, I thought, oh, good riddance. But actually now, I think, yeah, that's what the town needs, is a regenerated pier. Yeah. So do you think the 14 million pound worth it? I think it does. I think it. Um, I think it will bring an added value to the town again, really, and uh, and make it a stronger sort of holiday place to come, rather than just a, a day, um, somewhere to visit for the day. I think it's important. I hope it's going to be like rebuilt, like a traditional pier. Uh, it should be, you know, like a, a real fun family place. Uh, I hope it's not going to be full of fancy little shops and boutiques and things like that. You know. It, it's got to be like, you know, people are going to come to the seaside, they don't want that. But, you know, it's a bucket and spade town. They want to go and play, play in the arcades and have an ice cream or a cold beer on there. Uh, maybe do a bit of fishing, something simple. Um, I don't know how else a heritage lottery fund should be used apart from creating a new life for old buildings and old structures. Um, and I don't see that Hastings and St Leonard's would be a better town without having a functioning pier and having a rotting pier that's falling apart and no one can afford to dismantle would be a lot worse. And I know some people might say it's a waste of money and piers are old fashioned and a Victorian engineering invention and it would be better to get rid of it. But I think purely on a practical note, it would probably cost as much to demolish the pier as it would to rebuild it and I also think that for a seaside town a pier is a really important thing uh, but I think the challenge is to make it work in the 21st century where people stay at home a lot more and they don't choose to go out for group entertainment as much uh, but I feel particularly for Hastings and St Leonard's the pier is in a very important location because it's a destination that links both the old town and St Leonard's and I think it's really important that we get a thriving, flourishing pier back up and running as soon as possible. In this age of austerity and job cuts, will the fate of this seaside town turn around with this multi-million pound project? And will the glory of the past be returned to the pier? <laughs>